Welcome to this short video on how to find both non-academic literature and secondary data for economics, business and management postgraduates. So let's talk about secondary data first of all. Primary data is data gathered by you, the researcher, so it could be first hand, you know, through surveys, focus groups and so on. But in this presentation, we want to focus on secondary data, data that already exists in some form. It could be existing research data, company information, government information, censuses, anything that you can take and you can analyse, build on and use to inform your own assignments. A good place to start is the e-resources guide which allows you to browse our resources by category. When you choose data sets and statistics, you'll see several types of source, from specialist market research databases like Mintel, to national data like the UK Data Service or the Office for National Statistics, all the way to historical maps on Digimap. So every department has a subject guide put together by us, your academic liaison librarians. Whether you're using Martin's Economics Guide or my management guide, they've got a Find Resources tab where we've arranged the information by theme and by type. A really good site to bookmark. Um, it's really important to remember that although some of the data we're providing is freely available, other stuff we pay to subscribe to. So if you go in via the subject guide or your search or the e-resources guide, then it will authenticate you. It will ask you to log in as a York student and then you'll get the full access that you're entitled to. Also linked from our subject guides is the practical guide to finding data. This brings together data sources in several categories, UK and EU data, international data, and search engines useful for finding data. There's also really useful guidance on, on data handling, including information on extracting data from a PDF. So there's actually a lot of places to find secondary data. So hopefully between the practical data guide, the subject guide and the e-resources guide, um, you'll be able to find what you need uh, in terms of data to support your assignments and your dissertations. Finally, let's talk about non-academic literature. And by this, we mean any articles or research published outside normal academic publishing channels. And this includes several useful types of resources for management and economic students. Uh, including industry reports, newspaper articles, government papers, and so on. So you can find databases containing some of these types of resources on the subject guide. Business Source Premier, for example, that you can see on the screen has got industry reports, company profiles, SWOT analyses, as well as academic literature. Uh, Nexus Advanced UK has got um, over 12,000 news sources and lots and lots of company profiles as well. Another approach is to use your search. So by default, your search will look for items of all different types, including both academic and non-academic literature. It's easy to eliminate the peer reviewed journal articles from your search results, however, using the filter on the right hand side of the screen. Now our search excludes journal articles and books, but it contains government publications, newspaper articles, data sets and websites. Right, that's it. Um, really hope that you found this useful. You can email me on lib-management at york.ac.uk. You can email Martin on lib-economics at york.ac.uk. Um, and best of luck with your assignments and I hope you are able to find the resources that you need.